Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Resonant Rise. Kate has rejoined us at long last. Yay! Yeah. So today, we are, with all the work that I've been doing without Kate here, which I've sort of gone over with, over with her already, so we won't reiterate it here on camera, um, we're going to go back and we're going to try and take on that Twilight Lich, among other things, today. Yes. But first, we need to make something to make our lives in the Twilight Forest a little easier. What is that? I uh, check out the crafting station. Crafting station. A magic map focus. Yeah, so I'm going to make that. And then we wrap paper around it. And we get a blank magic map. Okay. Okay, let's head to the twilight. You got those ender pearls, right? Because I found something uh, amazing. I do have ender pearls. Good. Twilight Forest, there it is. Yeah. I found something awesome, but it's dangerous. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So now I take the magic map. And if I do my job right, I right click right here. Ha! And it will render a map of the area. Mm. Now it's supposed to show. Well, oh, there it comes. Excellent. So check this out. Look at the map. So it shows a much broader area than the standard uh, Minecraft maps. Okay. And if you look, in a few seconds it will show the locations of interesting features. Okay. Like bosses. I don't see that on here. Just give it a second. Okay. I see you. So that's a good thing. Okay, pass it back. Maybe you're maybe you're seeing something different than me. But okay. um, when I when I hold it, I can actually see where, yeah, where you are and where all of the nearby bosses are. There's a a lich nearby and a I think that's a gas thing. But first we have to go oh. first we have to go north. Uh, this is okay. a completely unrelated project. Those who are looking uh, at my right. Those who are looking at my screen will notice that there is a significant number of red dots on my on my uh, mini map. I did a little scouting looking for nodes to scan for research. Had some fortune there. You with me? Oh, good. Yeah, I'm yeah. behind you. Good stuff. Um, I did have to drain them to actually recharge. Oh, and I found this as well. What's this? This is a ginormous iceberg. It is, and check There's out. There's penguins! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I've been looking for one of these for you. They're just so freaking cute. Yeah. They are indeed. Oh my goodness. I thought you'd like that. I need to bring Jane in here. She'd love the heck out of this. That she would. Okay, and somewhere nearby. Ah, oh, here we are. Over this way. There is something amazing. Whoa. What the heck is that? Uh, an unfinished uh, feature of the Twilight Forest. A rainbow? Uh, well, it's actually a dungeon, but it's a dungeon that doesn't have anything in it. But these uh -huh. blocks, these aurora blocks, mm -hmm. they, they take their color based on where they're placed on the map. Oh. So the, the color that they have is actually related. Let's just keep moving on here. But the color that they have is is 100% linked to where they are placed in the world. Interesting. So if you take them, the, they, they can look quite odd and quite cool. Yeah. So the only bad, only bad news I have to give you is that I uh, drained most of these nodes the other day, and they probably haven't recharged yet. Okay. Because I was desperate. Well, okay. I haven't shown everybody this yet in my pouch. Here it is. The Thaumi Embossed Staff. Nice. It's the best staff you can make in vanilla. It require, But the only way to craft it is you need to have all of the things that you can possibly get that will reduce the, uh, cat, the uh, cost of enchanting something. Ah. So you know how the... Uh, the mage's robes give us a bonus for enchanting. Mm -hmm. um, you need to have all of those on, and you need to have a frugal three uh, wand focus for to oh, be fine. able to craft the final step of that uh, staff. 
Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, we're, a tree. we should be almost there. It's one of these markers up to the furthest up to the furthest north of the bunch. I think it was this one by the river. Was it this one? Yep, there it is. Stand up here and just watch. You see the node down there? Or did I lose you? No, you lost me. Oh, okay. I dropped down where you dropped down, but... I haven't dropped down. I'm still up top. Okay, well then I'm coming up. There you are, way over there. You lost me. Ah, oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah. You were just... Okay, so... That's, where, that's where I was. You were right beside me. Oh, that's weird. I was just under the tree. Uh, okay. Look down. Make sure you got your pearls on your bar. Okay. Second. Okay. All right. Why don't you go check out that node down there? Or you can watch it for a second and figure out what's dangerous about this node. Well. Just be right seriously. Ow! Per That's what the pearls are for. Whoa, hey. That is a hungry node. It is. Yes. It is a black hole. A literal okay. black hole. Huh. And, and we're going to bring it home today. Yeah, because that's a good plan. I thought so, yeah. I thought so. So I just need to request a critical materials for this. This is weird. Okay. So yeah, it's as I say, that's why that's why you've got the ender pearls. Is because if you get into a bad cycle, that's the only way to get away from that thing. Now the other danger of this is it can destroy your gravestones. Good to know. So but as you can see it's pulling away blocks from a fairly significant radius. Okay, I need a... So what are we going to do with this? We're going to bring it... Well, the thing is, it absorbs um, any essences you put into it. So if mm -hmm. you throw a cobblestone in there, it absorbs the essences from the cobble. And, mm -hmm. a, and a wand charging station can draw those essences back out again. Okay. So any... So if, if say, we were having trouble getting nodes, um, we could use that node or as certain essences like say we've had a lot of trouble finding fire nodes for some reason yeah we could throw say charcoal in there which we have a copious amounts of and it would uh be able to recharge uh fire from the cobblestone hmm. so the theory anyways what was i no i don't need that i need an axe that's what i need so can i scan it without dying maybe um with some, some, some challenge, but there it is. Just need to make sure I clear out the, oh, I'm on the move. Here we go. Oh, okay, so. Let me out. There we are. So obsidian can't be swallowed by it. Okay. Which means we can use obsidian to, now I learned just 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 for full disclosure I learned this from Etho. Careful, Kate. I'm working on it. Oh God, we're both gonna get killed here. It's a good thing we've got this armor, eh? Yeah. It's pretty dangerous. That um, is. Yeah. So this trick I learned from Ethos Lab. Um, mm hmm. He used it to um, a couple of times to good effect to get hungry nodes. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Let's see. Might have to remove some of this after the fact. See, I'm stuck on this now. The obsidian is actually in some ways more dangerous than the node itself. Okay. Because you can actually get stuck on it. But I, ender pearls. Yeah, ender pearls, exactly. Oh, and there goes that. Alright, I need some <laughs> I need some dirt. 
That was really funny, actually. You saw the dirt fly up into the air and go away, did you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, the, the thing is, if we used glass, because to do a node in the jar, you need glass, right? Yeah. But this thing will eat glass for breakfast in no time at all. Yeah. So we need something else. And obsidian, obviously we can't do the, uh, the node in a jar with obsidian. Mm-hmm. But we can do a wand of equal trade with obsidian. Oh. Okay. Just trying to. There we are. Careful, Kate. It gets. It, you, you could get stuck in there really badly now. I know. Yeah. Oh crap. Okay, that was a. There's a skeleton. Come on, Pearl, work. There we are. Where do, where am I? I'm completely lost now. Boy, I got a good throw out of that. Yeah, me too. There I am. I managed to scan it, though. Really? Yeah. Actually, I should be able to do that safely now, too. Oh, and that thing is full of goodies. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've already, I already scanned it, I guess. Haha. -ha. Oh well. <laughs> I'm good. Um, and there. There we go. Almost got it. Hey. The heck. Another one? Where are you guys coming from? This is the a toilet. Yeah, this is a toilet forest. There's not usually this many mobs around. Yeah, I've noticed that. There's this big tree. It's got awfully dark here. And there's mm. a cave. That could be it. Great. Alright, that didn't work at all. Okay, I need a little bit of dirt to help me not move towards this thing any further than I actually want to go. Oh crap, oh, whew. That looks, must look kind of wacky. It does. There we go. I'm just gonna stand here and laugh at you. Okay. Ah! Crud. Good news is I can't actually fall in, go in there and get in my own way now. That's good. Okay. Out of my way. <clears throat> oh, that's not. Helpful. The bats flying around this thing are hilarious. Oh yeah, um, there was a an instance where I, I've seen where the thing actually you can put almost put things into orbit around this. <laughs> okay, let's just uh, take off. This bat is trying so hard to get away. Oh crap. All right, let's see, I need to do, where am I? This is that corner, so I need one here, here. Now the one thing to note is that this is not gonna do anything about the actual gravitational pull of the full thing. Okay, so don't put it anywhere close to where we are. No, uh, the obsidian just makes it um, impossible to fall into it and die, is all. Yeah. Okay. Now we just have to somehow get the last of this uh, excess obsidian out of here, but it's completely encased now. Cool. Just clean up. 
And then we need... Could you use your system to get some uh, nine wood slabs? Uh, yeah, just a second. Let me get away from here. Come on. Okay. Okay, I think that is everything. Uh, ow! Oh, <laughs> okay. Ow! Okay, seriously? What's wrong? My pearls lagged. Oh. Um, so... <laughs> I was like, I finally got one to work. I'm like, okay, good. And then I went pop, pop twice more uh -huh. and it hurt. Yeah. <laughs> That's a significant risk. <laughs> and now I don't know where I am. Um, okay, sorry, what am I looking for? Uh, wood slabs. Okay. Uh... Sorry, I thought I was going to be a little longer. I, I actually could get those now. But if you're getting them, it's all good. I have it. Excellent. So we need to put those on top of the uh, thing, just as if it was a, uh, just like it was a. Uh, okay. Um, just just pretend that that's the glass that we need yep. for um, a note in the jar. So ten slabs should do her. Yeah, it actually only takes nine. It's a three by three yeah. recipe. Okay. But... Now just a minute while I find out where the heck I am relation to this thing. Um, hold on. I have a map that shows me where you are. I'm right here. Yes, you are. Here. Have some wood slabs. Excellent. Oh, okay. You're gonna give them to me? Great. Yes, I am. Okay. That thing is a little bit scary. Yep. Ah! So here's what I'm going to need you to do. In uh -huh. I'm going to need you to get up here with your wand. Okay. Okay. Second, let me get my wand. So uh, yeah, I need and I need you with your wand of yes, just a wand with no focus on it. Okay. Um Shift F got rid of the focus, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so, I'm up here. Okay, so when I say now, uh -huh. I need you to right-click on that to cast the... It, it, it is fully charged, right? Um, it's short a little bit of fire. Uh, how much fire? Uh, uh... Just a second, I need to make sure... Because this is one of those ones where it's... Uh, Okay, I've got 93 fire and 91, whatever the black one is. Perdito. Uh, yeah. You need 70 of you need 70 of each uh, aspect for this to work. By more than 70, I've got at least 90. Okay. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use my Wand of Equal Trade uh -huh. to uh, convert that obsidian into glass. Uh-huh. That is not my Wand of Equal Trade. <laughs> Dislocation, fire, shock. There it is. Excellent. Okay. And when it's done, now let me just see. I just need to refresh my memory on one thing here. Um, I need to make sure I hit the right button. Because as soon as it's done, it's going to start... Um, Sucking the glasses. Yeah, right, so I need to right-click it. Yeah, so as soon as I do this, you need to... As soon as I say go... You need to right-click it one time to turn it into a node in a jar. Okay, so just tap the, the right button. Yes. Okay. Yeah, pretty sure it's just a quick right-click right, uh, right to do it. Okay. I will confirm that, though. Yes. Yeah. And there's a zombie here. He's annoying me. Yeah, let's see. Now he's dead. Clicking on it. It doesn't say left-click or right-click. So I can do both. Yeah. I'll okay. Do right and then left immediately thereafter. All right. Sounds good. Um, just make sure do it towards one of the corners, not right at your feet, so you don't accidentally break the jar. Okay. Okay. I did that okay. once, and it was really annoying. Just on the just on the wood slabs, right? Yep. Any one of the okay. wood slabs. Okay. Here we go. In three, two, one. Do it. Nicely done, Kate. 
We have a black hole in a jar. <laughs> so weird. Too cool, eh? That is very cool. That's a lot of aspects in that thing already. Yeah. Yeah. Victory over the hungry node. Yay! I've always wanted a hungry node. And that bat is all like, yay! I got okay. Away. Now, we can't take it out of the jar right now because it's a hungry fading node now. Okay. Which means it's going to eventually croak and disappear. But we can. Okay. But I think there's a way to fix that. So we're just going to save that for the future for the moment. Okay. But the important thing is we have a hungry node to take home. We do. And who can argue with that logic? Yes. Okay. Well, now that that uh, adventure is done, <laughs> let's go. That was special. Mm-hmm. I thought so. Put that okay. away. Okay. Uh, what is the button to put the focus back on my thing? Um, hold down F. F. Ah, there it is. Okay. I'm going to try fire, because I haven't done fire yet. Okay, cool. <laughs> fire. Healing. We're going to need... I think we're going to go try to take on one of those liches. Okay. I am just bringing a uh, request Oh, I need to charge my wand now, because, yeah. Yeah, throw it in the white pouch. Shift F to get rid of... Yep, shift F to get yes. rid of the focus. White pouch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, almost out of all my magics. Yep. That's this is, that's one of the reasons I set up the uh, system was so that we could do this uh, acquire nodes without having of, to go back every without time. having to go back every time we do it. Okay, let's see where we are relative to something interesting. <laughs> well, we'll have to head back south, but let's go find one of our. Um, well, your thing is charging. Let's go find one of our uh, liches, and we'll bring everybody back when we have arrived at our battle site. <laughs> Hopefully not the site of our death. Well, who knows? It'll be entertaining. There's a half a house on a stick. It happens. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. 